Hey everyone, it's Mod6 coming at you with another Call of Duty mobile video, and today we're talking about how to set up your loadouts like a pro. Now if you see pros at the highest levels, guys with tons of experience in the game, pros like that tend to use one or two guns as their primary weapons. Most of the time you'll see that they have a favorite. Some of the hot guns right now are the KN44, the DRH, and the RUS. The RUS is one of my favorites and it's a consistent gun among high level players because of its recoil pattern. Now you see these pros, some of them will use red dot sights, but most use iron sights. We'll get into the reasons for that and we'll go through my loadouts, the way that they're set up, purpose built for ranked matches and see if we can get you setting your loadouts up like a pro. That's how you like it. Now before we dive into my loadouts, I wanna explain one key concept. You have five loadouts in Call of Duty Mobile. Set up a main gun with a few different options, different perks, different operator, different grenades, so that you can apply that loadout to the situation that you built it for. You'll notice that I have different loadouts for a couple of different game modes that use the same main weapon. What that does is it gives me options with my main weapon depending on the game mode. So let's get into it and check out my five loadouts. All right, getting right into it, we're gonna look at my loadouts and we're gonna go through each one of the loadouts in multiplayer. I'll explain why I have the attachments that I do and why I've chosen each of the items from grenades to perks, operator skills, everything. So my primary weapon is the RUS. As we go through these loadouts, you'll see that loadout one, two, and three are all RUS loadouts. I do that for consistency. It's the primary weapon that I use. I wanna get as good as possible with this weapon. And so I have three different RUS loadouts for three different ranked game mode types. And we'll get into this one. So the first one, you see the RUS Dust Kicker. I love the Battle Hardened, the new skin. The RUS Dust Kicker looks great with it. It's a legendary version of the RUS and it's awesome. With this gun, the attachments that I use almost always in each situation is going to be the stock, the foregrip, the quick draw, and the red dot sight. So I alternate between red dot sight and iron sights with my weapon choices or my sight choices. And the reason why I do that is because iron sights are the fastest possible way to aim down sights. Between iron sights, quick draw, and then the agile perk that you see and we'll talk about in a second, that's the fastest way to get into the gunfight. So I go back and forth between the red dot sight and the iron sights. The red dot sight gives a little bit of a better field of view. So the gun, the pistols that I choose, I choose the pistols based on what they look like for the most part. I like them. Sometimes I'll use a knife. Uh, the secondary weapon isn't as big of a concern for me, except in one of my loadouts I run the FHJ just to contribute to the team in ranked mode when we need to take down enemy UAVs, counter UAVs, things like that. For my operator skill, I've got the Annihilator. This is my favorite operator skill right now, but sometimes I use the Purifier, especially on small maps or for... Uh, game modes like hardpoint, it's particularly strong. Sticky grenade is my lethal for small maps. For small maps, I like to really aim that sticky grenade, and especially on Nuketown, I have a couple of grenade throw points that I prefer a sticky grenade so that I can stick the grenade exactly where I want it on the throw. And then I use a smoke for concealment and some freedom of movement. Getting into the perks, for the first perk, I already talked about this a little bit, I use Agile. It's basically another quick draw. So it reduces the aiming time of the weapon after sprinting. We spend most of the time in these games on multiplayer sprinting, and so reducing that aiming time gets you into the gunfight faster, which we've talked about as a huge advantage. For the second perk, we have Cold-Blooded. This, I typically switch back and forth between Cold-Blooded and hardwired cold-blooded is a little bit more useful on multiplayer not ranked because you see people with some bigger score streaks in those environments you can avoid things like sentry guns and stealth choppers hardwired is a little bit more useful in environments especially like search and destroy where those big score streaks aren't as likely but you're more likely to see trip mines that about does it for loadout number one let's get into some gameplay
Getting into loadout number two, you see another version of the RUS or the red dot sight. I love the cardboard. I love the uh, Grim Heaper Golem. And frankly, if anything, all of these skins are uh, disadvantage over an advantage because of the bright colors and the tendency to be distracted by your awesome looking gun in the game. But what are we going to do? I use the FHJ on this as a way to take down enemy score streaks if needed. The Annihilator is my operator skill. Trip mine for the lethal here. That's applicable in some situations, and I like to be able to switch to this on a map or a game mode where a trip mine is a big advantage. And then a smoke grenade as well. For the perks, because I use this loadout more on large maps, I use the lightweight perk. The reason why I use that is because sometimes there's a longer run in between where you're spawning and where the objective is on large maps. You'll work to reduce that by flipping spawns to your advantage whenever you can, but you can't avoid that run sometimes. And the lightweight perk and increased running speed is helpful in those situations. For the second perk, we have Cold Blooded. We've already talked about this, avoiding those score streaks, increasing your freedom of movement. And then Dead Silence as the last one, Grant Silent Movement. This is all about the element of surprise, and this is my favorite perk for this section right here. The only other one that I use is Alert, and we'll talk about when we use that one. That about does it for this large map loadout. This is my second loadout. Let's get into some gameplay. Got him on the stairs. Oh, we got one coming bottom grandma. That's just got him. Checking back alley. One back alley. Got him. Ha, noob. Ah. Yeah, go watch the ladder. Watch this uh, for the ladder. I got a ladder. One going garage. Got it. Come on up the He's downstairs. Right, got him, got him, got him. Alright. One coming up. Two coming up mid alley. Good shit, boys. You brought this fucking back in there, I see. There's two coming down uh long. All right, this is my third loadout, and this is a special purpose loadout specifically for Search and Destroy. I use the RUS again. The skin, the Spectre is just cool looking, and the RUS, this version matches it. This one I've got iron sights on right now because in Search and Destroy, I want to be as fast as possible with gunfight. Every millisecond matters because there are no respawns. We've got the pistol here as the secondary weapon. Annihilator is my operator skill. You don't see it used too much in Search and Destroy, but that's my favorite one. And then we have the Trip Mine and Smoke. Trip Mine is particularly good for Search and Destroy, I find, because you're a little bit more spread out, especially when you get into those 1v1, 2v2 situations. And the Trip Mine, as you're being chased or as you know the path that the enemy might take, gives you a chance at getting one of those extra kills. Getting into the perks, Agile, we talked about this. It's like another quick draw. It gets you into the gunfight faster and gives you those extra milliseconds to maybe win that gunfight, stay alive, and win the search and destroy round. Tracker, this is a very beneficial perk when you're down in those 1v1 or 1v2 situations even because you see those footsteps for four seconds and you've got a little bit more situational awareness and understanding maybe where the enemy is. This could give you the chance to catch the enemy by surprise, shoot him in the back and go from a 1v2 to a 1v1 and maybe win the round. And again, dead silence. In Search and Destroy, I keep hitting on this concept of those low numbers on the map situations in a 1v1, but being able to hear footsteps or not 
could be the difference between winning or losing in the search and destroy match. And the situations arise more often where it's very, very quiet and footsteps matter a lot. There's less going on on the map in search and destroy sometimes. That about does it for the search and destroy loadout. We'll get into some gameplay to see it in action. So, I mean, good shit, good shit. Touch on the jar of it. So we could all, like, see where we're supposed to be. This game gives me too much bullshit. I, I am to the point where it's I probably think, affecting my gameplay. But, like, Get your KRM ass out of here. Don't get in sight. For real, social distancing. Get your KRM ass out of here. That white dot is right with. There's two top grandma. Get him up? Oh, yeah. I, I, I got the two at gas station. Anyone. I'm going. Bruh. One left up top of ammo, sitting up there, just camping, trip mine downstairs. Dang shit. Okay. I got granny. One, back. one granny going downstairs. Got him. Oh! I don't even know what I just did. Uh, there's one. Shorty kid. There's only uh, one left. Oh, he's uh, Got one, one more in shelter. Nice. 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 This is my fourth loadout. This one's a lot of fun. Small maps, usually just multiplayer stuff like hijacked or cage. And this is the KRM shotgun, the best shotgun in the game right now. Huge magazine size and really just fast reloads. One shot kills every time. I rarely ever see hit markers with this thing. This looks awesome. Uh, this uh, ruin action finger looks like looks like a Ken doll and uh, or a GI Joe maybe. We'll go with that. And uh, the J358 Firecracker is a cool gun to go with this. We've got the purple frag grenade, the rainbow smoke grenade, the gag that came with Gunzo, the clown draw. And then let's get into some of the perks here. Lightweight, so we can run as fast as possible all over the map with that shotgun. Cold-blooded, more freedom of movement. With this loadout, I find myself in game modes where people are using huge score streaks, so this cold-blooded perk helps me die less in the situation when you got stealth choppers and, and uh, sentry guns all over the map. And then dead silence. Again, maybe get the element of surprise. Enemy can't hear you. The only other thing that I would consider for this is alert, just so that you can make quick turns knowing where enemy might be right around you when you've got that shotgun. That's it for the Ruin action figure with the KRM shotgun for my fourth loadout. Let's get into some gameplay.
And for my last loadout, this is the one where I rotate all sorts of different guns in to get some experience, try something out, or just have fun with a new gun that's come out. The DLQ Red Action is what I have in the slot here. I've been working on my sniping skills, and we've got Scarlet Roads as the skin, so that uh, just because it's the same color, almost. Yep. And then we've got the knife from the Gunzo Draw, the Gag Knife. We've got a Firecracker Sticky Grenade, the Smoke here, and then Lightweight, so she can move a little bit faster with that heavy gun. Cold-blooded enemy controlled score streaks can't target her. We've used that in several other loadouts and then alert So if there are enemy in very close range I know to switch to the knife and I know which way they're coming from Usually so that I can maybe get that kill if they get close to me when I've got the sniper or even get the quick scope Situation where I know which way I'm going which way I need to flick the shot and maybe have an increased likelihood of getting the kill due to that alert perk Let's get into some gameplay with the DLQ Red Action Sniper Rifle. All right, that does it for my five loadouts. The primary five loadouts that I'm running right now, you saw that fifth one is the one that I rotate guns in on. That's how I get a bunch of gameplay with different guns and a wide variety of experiences, try out new guns in the game, things like that. So if you like the video, if you like my loadouts, if you think that I'm garbage and this is not the way pros set up their loadouts, then let me know in the comments. If you think it's amazing and you got something from it, like the video, please subscribe to the channel. I'm loving the comments from all the new followers and subscribers. Check me out on twitch.tv slash mod6. I stream Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Eastern time. 11 a.m. on Saturdays is subscriber Saturday. It's the best stream of the week where I play with all the subscribers. And then Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Usually on Sundays we'll get a bunch of BRN and maybe some ranked play. So come check out the stream, follow on Instagram at Mod6Gaming, and check out the YouTube channel for more videos in the Noob to Pro series. Go set those loadouts up like a pro. Mod6 out.